guys, Jeff here. Just want to do a little quick show of some customization I'm doing here um, on the channel um, of the Corsair that I'm putting together. Uh, basically what we've got here is this is a chalk weathering that I'm doing um, just to bring out the panel lines. Basically, as you can see, I've, I've, I'm doing the panel lines on this plane and I'm using chalk. And uh, what I've done here is if you look right here, I'm taking a piece of white chalk, a razor blade, and I've got a little bowl over here um, with just a little bit of alcohol or witch hazel, same thing, um, and water. And there's just a little bit, just to kind of make it almost kind of, as you can see, uh, hopefully, you know, kind of like a slurry almost of chalk, water, and alcohol. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking the brush and I'm following each line and I let it dry. And then I go back and I take a paper towel, um, a rag, microfiber towel, as you can see laying there on the table, um, and I let it, once it's dry, I go back and I wipe it off. Um, I back up a little bit here and you can kind of see what I'm doing here and then I'll show you the other wing Maybe you can see that it's coming out pretty good, but I'm going to show you if I can It's kind of what I'm doing here guys In the picture just get a little bit on the brush kind of Shake it a little bit here like that Okay, and now what I'm going to do in here say this one for instance and I'm just going to kind of very lightly touch the brush and let the chalk and the mixture fall into the line. And then just very lightly dragging the, the bead as it would be across the line and letting the chalk and water and alcohol just kind of fill in that line. And I'm going down each line as I go, just kind of dragging that bead and maybe just dotting it in. And yeah, this takes a lot of time, but you know what? It's going to make this plane look awesome and bring out the detail uh, in all these panel lines. And, you know, this is just the beginning of what I'm doing to this plane. Got the sound system installed um, with the guns and the motor sound of the Corsair, which sounds amazing. Uh, and, um, yeah, so just... Uh, filling in the panel lines and then I'm going to come back and weather but as you can see this really just brings out the detail in this and, and I haven't even wiped the chalk off of this with a rag yet um, I'm just filling it in right now letting it dry I'll stir this up a couple of times before I get a little more on the brush and just kind of shake it off and um, if you get a little bit on the plane, the beauty of this is you just take your hand and you wipe it off or, or damp cloth or anything, guys. Um, so we're going to come back in here and like I said, you see how I'm just kind of, I'm putting hardly no pressure. And if I want a little bit more in that line, I'll just stop for a second and let it fill in and just kind of dab the brush down in the line. And, uh, you know, once I get all this done, get all the weathering done on this plane, I'm going to come back with the polyacrylic mat in a spray can and uh, put some coats on this plane. Um, the mat is awesome, guys. That's what I put on the Spitfire. And uh, as you saw, it doesn't hardly even change anything with the, the plane lightly touching and dragging and if you know if you want the panel lines to be deeper brighter you can go back once this chalk mixture dries just slightly and uh, you can add more um, and uh, it'll, it'll brighten it up even more and and you know once you wipe it with a rag or, or a paper towel to pull out and pull off some of the chalk you can go back again uh, with a little more in areas if you want a little more detail 
and uh, just overlay it again and it'll really give it more depth um, and make it look really nice. Uh, like right here, if you can see, I want a little bit more, so I'm just going to kind of dab, let it fall into the panel line. And the thing with this, guys, it really, like right in here, I want a little more, so I'm just going to add a little more moisture in there and just kind of let it run down the line. And uh, I hope you can, guys can just see, you know, with the video, how much detail this really adds. Um, this is going to be a beautiful plane once I get done with it and get all my custom work done here on uh, Jeff's Custom RC. That's what we do, guys. Um, went out to the field yesterday. I was going to do a little flying. Had a few decent flights. Uh, flew the F4. Uh, flew the uh, T45 Goshawk. That's a great jet, guys. I mean, that, that plane is just incredible. Um, had a little wind, not too bad, um, and the day just got progressively worse. So, you know, rather than risking the planes and taking a chance on tearing something up, you know, we just kind of hung out, uh, talked about planes, talked about videos, um, and uh, just kind of relaxed and came on back to the house. Uh, so, weather's getting here, guys. We just got to be patient a little bit. Uh, you know, we are in March, and March is normally, they call it the windy season, so uh, I hate it, but, you know, seems like it's always windy when we want to fly, you know, and you can get out in you know, a day when you're not flying, and you can't buy a breeze, it's so hot in the summer, um, but it's coming, guys, and uh, we will have some good days. And uh, this weekend here is supposed to be 75 on Saturday. And, you know, man, hey, here's the thing. I'm looking forward to that, but the scary part is it'll probably be windy. And uh, doesn't matter how pretty and warm it is, if the wind's cranking 25 miles an hour all day, ah, well, huh, what's the point, right? But I guess that gives you the days to do yard work and other things that are on the honey-do list more or less I guess you could say um, but yeah guys I, I hope you can just see what this is doing for this plane get all these lines filled in and uh, I'll come back and I'll wipe everything down with a paper towel um, knock off a lot of the excess on the lines that's outside the lines um, biggest thing is, you know, you, you just want to make sure you let it dry. And this, this chalk stuff, it'll dry pretty quickly. It doesn't take too terribly long. Because um, if you don't let it dry, you're going to smear it. And, um, you know, then you're just going to have to go back and redo it anyway. Uh, so if you just let it dry nicely, like I said, be patient. And sometimes that's even hard for me to be patient. Because I want it to be done and look good now. Uh, one of my buddies yesterday was asking me why I didn't bring the Corsair out to the field yet. I said, well, man, I haven't gotten the throws set yet, for one thing. I said, and uh, I'm doing the weathering and my detailing on it, and uh, you know me. I like to break it out when it's looking good, and, um, you know, I don't like to bring it to the field until I've pretty much gotten it done. A lot of guys will maiden planes and do this and that, you know, before they detail it or put any decals on or anything like that. And I mean, that's okay, I guess. I, I don't know. Part of the fun to me is doing this. I love the modeling aspect and the detailing, customizing aspect of it, I guess you could say. Um, I love this just about as much as I do the flying. So, you know, on windy days, bad weather days, this is really what I do um, in my spare time. Um, and I really enjoy it. So, but yeah, I hope you guys will learn something here and take something with you. I mean, you know, some people may say, well, why couldn't you do this with paint? Uh, well, paint doesn't wipe off like this chalk. Uh, this chalk, once it dries, 
like I said, it's kind of like, you know, when you used to clean a chalkboard or you would, uh, you know, use an eraser. Well, that's kind of same situation here. You're just kind of taking off what you don't want. But if you do it lightly, you know, the, the chalk stays down in the line where you want it to be. And you don't pull that off. And so, uh, yeah, it just really really makes a big difference uh, when you wipe it off and, and see the part that you want to keep um, again I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing here I'm just kind of cleaning off a little bit of the stuff off the brush and going in here and just dabbing it in the line drag it a little bit go around the light a little bit here just want a little bit of detail there in that crack a little bit. This is very, very forgiving. That's the whole point. And you know, the cool thing with this too, guys, is you can buy you a set of this chalk at most of your craft stores. Hobby Lobby is where I got this one from. And uh, it comes in all different pastel colors, and you can mix them together and create just about any color you want. And um, once you do that, uh, you know, I'm going to come back into some of these lines once I get uh, the paint under the belly of this bird. Because I'm going to do a, a light gray underneath uh, the belly all the way down the fuselage. And then I'm going to uh, do a darker gray like up around this area here and then back here some. Um, and then I'm going to mix up some chalk uh, uh, with white and gray until I get the color. Maybe a little black in there until I get the color I want. And then I'll go back into some of these lines and I will add some dirt uh, to the ones that I don't want to be all just solid white. Give it a different effect in those areas. Um, and that'll really give it, you know, a little more of a weather look to it. And then, of course, you know, I'm going to break out the airbrush on this and do some things. And then, um, you know, we've got to pay tribute to Papa Boozer, uh, Papa Dots here. We're going to be putting rivets on this plane. And some of these uh, panels that you see here, guys, uh, around this area here, um, some around the cowling, um, they weren't really rivets, they were almost like uh, bolts that could be pushed in and turned so you could access these panels and work on this plane. And uh, so yeah, so I'm going to do bigger bolt type looking heads on those panels when I get to that point um, a little later on. Uh, that's going to be another fun thing to come up with because I've got to I've got to kind of decide how I want to do that I, I may actually do it with some um, some glue to make the, the bolt heads and then come back in and paint them um, so that they look raised because they do look raised in some places on the panels of this plane especially uh, in this area right here around this hatch around this um, the the bolts are raised um, but I want to get them up a little higher uh, so I can paint them um, really make them pop on this plane because uh, I think that'll really look nice and see I'm just kinda and, and you know the thing with this guys it being that you're gonna wipe you know some of this off you don't have to be super oh my god I went out of the line um, like you know it's, it's not that big a deal because you're gonna come back and wipe off the excess and if there is an area that you don't like you can take a q-tip or a paper towel and just dampen it and wipe it and it will come right off um, and then too as I say once we get all this done I'm gonna go back in and uh, you know I'll, I'll be putting a, a, a polyacrylic over this which will seal it and protect it um, so yeah, uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to hit these small areas here. Um, fill in all these little places. 
this is what makes this plane really really come alive guys is when you start doing this and I mean you know if it's not your thing and you just want to fly the planes I mean I get it um, this is a lot of work uh, a friend of mine said yesterday man he said I just I'm not gonna do all that and I said well you know I get it if it's not your thing it's not your thing I said you know um, to me I just love to do it period um, I just I don't know I like I said it, it is really fun to me I enjoy it um, and it makes my plane stand out at the field you know um, it looks different everybody's really checking you out when you're out there talking about it um, yeah so anyway I guess to each their own um, some people just don't want to take the time to you know It's off, guys. Couldn't do that with paint. Okay.
All right guys, so I've got a clean paper towel here. And now as you can see where this is not splotchy, this is what we're gonna start doing to wipe this off and get it looking nice and uh, get everything looking good here. And if I have to go back in and touch up areas, that's what I'll do. You guys, you see how nice that's starting to smooth out, and you want some of your areas to look, you know, a little more discolored. And if you take off too much, like I said, you can go back and put it back. It's no big deal. Just rubbing lightly. So what you thinking guys? It's looking pretty good, huh? Worn in areas. I hope you guys can see that pretty good. Yep. I'm not, you know, I'm not rubbing hard, I'm not killing it. I'm just trying to knock off some of this because we want to keep it in the crevices. want it to make like you know water stood in these areas or you know Looking good, guys. Looking good. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but you can tell 
right here from the factory. It looks like my plane had some paint peel right there and they just touched it up, but not a big deal. I'll take care of all that too, but you won't notice it so much when I get this done, but yeah, I noticed that as I was doing this kind of stuff. Guys, the beauty of this is, I mean, it just takes everything off the plane except what's in the panel line, which is great. And it's so forgiving because as you guys can see, I mean, you get a mess up, you wipe it off. And once you seal this, I mean, it's, it's going to be there. It's not going anywhere. paper towel guys just gives you enough texture that I mean just keeps everything smooth doesn't mess up anything on the plane and like I said if you're going to come back and put a coat of uh, polyacrylic or something on this not going to really matter because you're going to get everything back smooth anyway so What you think, guys? Well, I think it looks pretty good myself. Yeah, higher up view here. That wing there. Wing over there. Fuse. All the way up to the cow. So yeah, let me know what you think guys in the comments.